So I'm currently up here in my office and I'm rendering a video. I'm actually rendering video 582 in case you're curious. And this is what happens when I'm rendering video on my PC build. As you can see, all eight cores are actually eight threads in this case. All eight threads are pegged at 100%. And that process is going to be for 43 more minutes. Now sometimes one of the threads drops down a little bit, but as you can see, the majority of the time, it's 100%. So I need to speed up this process. So this is me rendering video 583 on the new computer, the dual CPU Xeon. And as you can see, it shows up as 24 cores. There's actually 12 cores in the machine, and each core is hyper-threaded, so it shows up as 24 cores. And as you can see, it's not maxing out all the cores. It's uh, giving me approximately anywhere from 30 to 45% CPU usage. So it's a big upgrade from the previous PC in regard to video editing. Now I'm not using any video card to help speed up the rendering on this machine. This is doing it with the CPU only. And that's the comparison I'm giving you here because I was doing the same thing on the other PC, my PC build. So when you saw the eight cores there, that was just using the CPU to render these videos. So to give you a little bit of perspective on this, the other PC, my PC build, that I've been using pretty much the majority of the time that I was rendering and, and editing videos here on this channel, it took approximately four minutes for every one minute of video. So if I had a 10 minute video that I had to render, it would take approximately 40 minutes. It was actually just a little bit less than that, not quite four minutes per one minute. This computer appears to be a little bit less than one minute for one minute. So it's actually rendering faster than the video actually is. So that is a definite upgrade and it's going to speed things up here on my channel. I can only imagine how fast it's gonna to be to render these videos when I use the GPU acceleration on here. That'll be the next step. So as I mentioned, my system has 48 gigs of RAM or that's at least the way it was sold to me. When I fired it up and put windows on it and whatnot, it actually had a bad stick of RAM. It has 12 sticks of RAM at four gigs per stick. Now, if you know anything about the dual CPU system, everything has to run symmetrically. Your CPUs have to be identical and your RAM configuration has to be identical. So if you have one bad stick of RAM, it means that another stick, a perfectly fine stick of RAM, is not gonna function because everything has to be symmetrical. So I had to route out which stick of RAM was bad, and fortunately the seller who sold this to me stood behind their product and sent me a brand new stick of RAM. So believe it or not, this box contains one stick of RAM. So apparently it's packed very well, or they just don't have small boxes over there. So let me grab my trusty cutter and let's get this thing open. So there we go. It's a matching stick of RAM. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put these micro SATA SSDs into the build. I actually have two of them. If you've seen my home theater PC upgrade video, you'll notice these drives. Well, I'm actually going to pull the drive out of the home theater PC because I'm changing things around, but that's for another video. And I'm going to put it in a RAID setup with this drive here. They're identical drives and they're 160 gigabyte SSDs. And you might notice that they are micro SATA drives. So you can't plug a regular SATA cable in here, whether it's data or power, you're gonna need an adapter. And that's what's in here. I have two adapters. Each adapter cost me a little over $13. I believe the entire package was $26.90 shipped. So let's get this thing open here. As I said, there are two of these and it makes it look like a regular laptop drive as you can see there. 
So let me just pull one of these out real quick. It's made out of an aluminum. It's an aluminum casing. And it's a hard drive caddy for the 1.8 inch micro SATA drive to fit into a 2.5 inch port. So I believe this comes apart. There we go. And it actually comes with screws, so you can screw it down. But uh, you take this drive here, and let's match things up properly. You plug it in this way, and there you go. So you convert this drive into a larger drive. Pretty simple. Let's look what's in the box here. Again, there are two of them in here, and they're identical, so I'm only going to open up one. Let's put that to the side. Let's see what else is in the box here. You get everything you need to connect it. You get a little screwdriver, you get little screws, and you get what looks like a little rubber piece. Yeah, there's a little rubber piece. Let's pull that out of there. It's two rubber pieces there, and it has adhesive on the back. So that's probably to secure the drive in there. If you know what this is, then you know what's in the bag here. This actually came in several other bags. Hopefully it was packaged properly. I have yet to try this out, but the SLI bridge was packed in there with there with this. And if you know what an SLI bridge is, then you know that this is a graphics card in here. Now, the system that I got came with an NVIDIA Quadro FX 580 graphics card, I believe. The whole purpose of all these upgrades is to make my, my editing faster. And the card in here is one of the recommended cards for graphics card acceleration in Premiere Pro. Now, I edit in Adobe Premiere Pro 5.5, CS 5.5, and they have certain recommended graphics cards for that. And let me grab my scissors here and get this thing open. There's only one graphics card in here. So the SLI bridge was basically just included in this. I won't be using it. Now, I wasn't so happy with the way that it was packaged. It was not packaged in a box. It was packaged in about four of these um, mailing envelopes. So hopefully everything works properly. It was not sent far. It was just a state away from me where I bought it. But as you might notice here, it's a PNY. Accelerate XLR8 Enthusiast Edition GTX 580. So let's take a closer look at this card here. It's a pretty card. It actually has the fan, the intake fan here, and everything is encased and it blows out the back of the case. Let's take a little quick tour around. As you can see here, PNY GTX 580, 1.5 gigahertz or 1536 megabytes. GeForce branding over here. You have your plugs over here. Now it does have two DVI ports in the back and one HDMI over here. And just for the record, this is where the SLI bridge plugs into on the top here. Again, not gonna use it. So that's gonna do it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. If you like what you see, please subscribe. And as always, if you wanna help out my channel, give me a thumbs up, favorite this video, share this video. You can join my Patreon. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.